Hi, my name's Matt. I'm currently in my third year of studying at Leeds Beckett University. I study English Lit and Creative Writing on the city campus and today I'm going to be telling you about my top five hidden gems in Leeds. I'm going to start off with somewhere to eat and there's two of these restaurants in Leeds. It's a place called Estabulo. So as I said, there's two branches. One is right in the city centre. It's in the light, um, which most of you will be familiar with either for nights out or for the cinema and stuff like that. And the other one is in St. Peter's Square, which is just down by the bus station. Now, I've got quite a big appetite, so this place is kind of perfect for me. It's unlimited access to the salad bar, which is not just salad, it's kind of cheese, cold meat, and obviously the salad included. Uh, and then they have different cuts of meat, which they bring around to you on skewers. And the idea about this restaurant is you kind of eat what you want to eat. So if they bring around, say, some steak and you don't want it, you have a little disc on the table next to you and you can either turn it green for you want it or red for you don't so you can decide what you want to eat and you can eat as much of it as you want. It's a really nice chilled out vibe, there's no rush and they always do really nice cocktails that are usually on two for one if you go at the right time. Okay so number two on my list is a little place called Kirkgate Market which uh, a lot of people kind of know um, but a lot of people don't know about the kind of food you get there which is unbelievable. There's food from all across the world and you can kind of walk through the old market, see all the stores, you can even have a look at the old plaque dedicated to the original market and Spencers, uh, but then have a little wander down and there's uh, fresh food stores. For, there's Turkish food, I think there's Vietnamese food, Yorkshire pudding wraps are all the rage now. We went down about Christmas time and they had some gorgeous ones down there. Okay, my third place to go is a little place called the Hyde Park Book Club. It's a fantastic little place, there's a nice little bar that does some food. It's also a fantastic live music venue. They have all sorts of artists playing there, just small little artists and just go along, have a drink, enjoy the music and I think there's a little costume shop next door if you want to have a browse. Um, but it's a really chilled out place especially in the summer they have seats outside if the sun's shining down it's a great place to have a drink okay my fourth hidden gem of Leeds is not so hidden it's a uh a night out that's notorious by reputation alone. Um, it's called Bongo's Bingo and it's not just in Leeds, it's in Liverpool and Newcastle, I think Manchester as well, but I've only ever been in Leeds and let me tell you, it is a whale of a time. You go about seven o'clock, eight o'clock, have a few drinks and play bingo. And it might not sound much, but it will be one of the best nights out you have in Leeds because it's just chaos and fun and everyone's having a good time. You can win all sorts of funky prizes from anything from a box of cereal up to like 100 quid. So um, I actually won a, an inflatable cow costume there once and wore it out clubbing afterwards and it seemed to be the most attention I ever got from anyone. So, And my fifth hidden gem is last but certainly not least and that is Skyrack Karaoke. So uh, Skyrack is a small pub in Headingley. It runs on Sunday nights, it runs a karaoke night that me and my friends have been going to as a tradition for about a year now and it is just a fantastic, fun night out. It's great, you get cheap drinks and get up and sing for karaoke, get down early, sing a few songs, build your confidence up, and when everyone else gets there, that's when you bring out the buble, belt some karaoke classics, and it's just fun to either show what you've got vocally or just have a laugh and maybe laugh at some of your mates butchering an Elvis song, but it's a good night regardless, and this is probably the top pick out of them, which is why I've saved it for last. Okay, so they were my top five hidden gems in Leeds. Get yourself down at them, and you might even find me there. Bye for now.